All right, now that was a big waste of time. If I had read the instructions like nobody ever does, I wouldn't have had to do all that work. That was, didn't need to do it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. And for those of you who don't know, that's my 2014 Mustang back there. And I decided I'm gonna be taking it to the track, so I'm doing a few things to upgrade it and get it prepared. Now, if you saw my last video, I got some new wheels and tires, but as you can see right now, those are the stock ones. It's kind of cold outside, plus the tires that I put on there are kind of pricey. Don't really wanna drive around on them. So those are gonna just be my track tires. Those are gonna be, you know, when I go to autocross, things like that. Not gonna drive around on them normally. Um, I will be driving around on my other SVE wheels that I got originally. Those are going to be my normal everyday tires. Uh, these ones just have my all seasons on there. So when it's cold outside like it is now, where the high is like 40 most of the time, I'm going to be riding around on these. But there are a few things that I need to do to get my car ready for the track. Well, the first thing I got to do is I gotta need to do a little bit of maintenance. All right, now that we got that out of the way, uh, let me show you what I got going on over here. All right, I got a few different things here. Um, so I got my new tow hook. I got some brakes, brake fluid. Uh, this is gonna be from a rear tow hook. And then I got some lower control arms there that I'm gonna be putting on. Now, as I stated in an earlier video, um, my Mustang is a track pack Mustang, but they don't come with a place to put tow hook on there. I don't know why, it's kind of weird. Uh, you would think that if you make a track pack made to go to the track, which most track events you have to have tow hooks on there in case you do Mustang things and go off road. And so they need to be able to pull you out. So they don't have anything factory wise to put anything on there, but I did find a couple online. One of them was, all right, most of them were pretty much just like weld on versions. I don't like that. Uh, I didn't want to cut into my bumper. Here, let me show you. So if I was gonna get the weld on ones, I would have to cut like a little hole like right here to get fit and then I'd have to weld it into the crash bar behind it, whatever you want to call it. And then, oh, almost died there. And then on the back, the only things that I saw is there's a few of them that I've seen where they went and they drilled a hole through their license plate and another one where they drilled a hole through the bumper to get to their crash bar. And I don't really like that. I didn't want to drill any holes. so. I found a little bit of ways around it. Let me show you what I got. All right, so what I got here for the front one, since they don't really want to give us a hole, um, it's from a company called ZR1 Add-ons, which they started with Camaros, but they make Mustang stuff too, because they're smart. But this is a little bracket that they come with. It honestly looks pretty simple. Basically, that's the whole bracket. And what I have to do is I got to take off my front bumper here, and then this is going to attach somewhere in this vicinity and as you can see right there that's where my tow hook's going to screw in which will be back behind my grill all right let's try this youtube snap trick out hey look at that first attempt man i must be good at this now honestly that wasn't too hard to take off it was just like some clips on the top and then take off the little under tray and some more clips on the bottom but most of it was kind of pushed in um i do want to eventually replace this grill one day and it wasn't too hard to take off, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I was thinking about drilling out these holes, which I don't know if I really wanna do the work if I'm gonna replace the grill. And I was also looking at the front cover here. If you look at it, you know, it's only got some holes like here, and then it's solid there and there. And I was thinking of taking the grill out and drilling those out as well. But when I go behind it, there's not, any place for me to even do anything because it's all enclosed anyway. So yeah, it'd be kind of pointless for me to spend all the time doing that work. Now, as for a lot of people I've seen on the internet uh, that got this kit, I haven't seen a single person on here put it on the way the instruction says to do it. Um, I've seen a few of them where they've actually screwed it in right here. They drilled some holes and put it there. Um, but as per the instructions, it just says I'm supposed to take this off and then there's two holes that that's supposed to go through. So let's try to do that first and see if that works. If not, I'll drill some holes and do it the other way. All right, so a quick update on everything. Um, I got these four bolts out. I have two of those sides out and I have two of them really loose so that when this comes flying off, it doesn't you know, 
fall on the ground or I hurt myself. But this doesn't just come off. I don't know if you can see in here. Let me grab a light. There we go. So there's a pot spot that is welded. This piece is welded to that piece. So I haven't been able to get it off. And that's probably the reason that a lot of the people are just, you know, screwing it to that instead of actually putting it where it's supposed to go. So I may just have to give up on this. Uh, it might take a couple minutes, but I'll put it back together and I'll probably do what everybody else did and drill some holes and just bolt it in that way. <laughs> Victorious! Just goes to show you, you can take anything apart with a hammer and a sawzall. All right, now I can show you what was going on. Um, I'm not really sure how they got it in there, but there's a weld there, and then there's also a weld on the bottom. The bottom one was a lot more difficult, but that's all superficial, like the main plate and everything holding together is still structural, so that's not really gonna make a difference. I just got the little welds. Plus the bolts all hold them in place anyway, so I don't even know why they're welded. But now I got this off, let's try to put that thing on there. All right, now that was a big waste of time. If I had read the instructions like nobody ever does, I wouldn't have had to do all that work. That was, didn't need to do it. Now when I was looking at this, by the instructions, or at least the picture when I was looking at it, I thought that it was gonna get sandwiched between the bar and that. It's not. You're just gonna replace these two bolts. They go into here, and then it's gonna stick out the back, and then you're just gonna bolt it back there. Because if I sandwich it in between, there's there's no way that that's gonna fit and I'm gonna be able to bolt that back together. But if you put it back there, it works just fine. <sighs> Look, it even sticks out the bottom. If you don't know what you're doing, read the instructions. Who would have thought? Look at that, all back together. Nobody would ever know. Well, except for me and, well, you, I guess. Yeah. But here, let me show you how this is supposed to work. So, as you can see, I got it hanging down right there. Uh, I've tightened it a little bit, I'm gonna do a test fit, but you replace those two bolts with some longer ones that come in the kit. You get underneath here, and then, as you can see, maybe, my light, ah, there you go, now you guys can see. Nope, can't see, my light's in the way. Stop it, light, stop it, light, there we go. That's how you're supposed to put it on. Not the way I was doing it. Or how I've seen most of the other people do it. All right, I got the bumper test fitted back on. It's not bolted up yet. But, you know, there it is. See, hole even lines up right there. Man, sometimes I can do th things right the first time if I try. Apparently not where I'm supposed to mount it though if I read the instructions. But here's my new tow hook. Just in case they can't figure it out, that's where you tow. It's gonna go right through there. Maybe. If I can do this with one hand. There we go. Oh, look at that. Twist that right in. Oh, look. Oh, yes. Nice and tight. Tow hook installed. Well, mostly. I still gotta put everything back together. But look, it works. We have a tow hook. I'm gonna have to flip that over because I don't want to read that. I want to read where it says tow. All right, I got it all put back together now. And as you can see, I flipped it over, it says it says tow now. Um, pretty much the product's pretty nice. The only thing I don't like is that if I tighten it all the way, it's a little bit crooked. It's not too bad, but honestly, if the tow hook is pointed down and it's, it's a little, like it's still a little firm, but if you aim it down and it spins, it's gonna hit there and stop anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But if I'm gonna be on the racetrack, I'll just tighten it up and then it'll just be a little crooked. I wish there was a way to like adjust it. There's no like jam nut or anything to make it straight. But you know, I don't wanna take everything off every time I wanna get in here. So it's the little things in life I'm live willing to live with. All right, so now I got the front one on and I'm sure most of you are asking, hey Mark, what are you gonna do about the rear tow hook? You know, in case you go straight off and can't get to the front tow hook. So we need to pull out from the back. And what are you gonna do? I don't wanna drill into the bumper. You don't wanna drill into the bumper. Well, some of you might, some of you don't care. But I came up with a way to do it. It's not my favorite idea, but it will work. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Yep, 
that's what I came up with. Putting a hitch on here. All right, so a couple thoughts behind why I'm putting a tow hitch on the Mustang. One, it was the easiest solution I could come up with for putting a tow hook on here and not have to drill into the body or drill into anything of the car and make it look, you know, not that bad. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the way the hitch will look, but it is not that noticeable from the pictures I've seen. So hopefully when I put it on the car, it won't actually be that noticeable in person. Now, the other reason I thought about doing this is because I don't currently have a truck that is strong enough or big enough to haul a car. I also don't have room to stow or to store a trailer to haul the car on. So I need to figure out how to make it work so I can drive to and from the track and whatnot with just my car. Now with the Subaru, what I had before was I had the tow hitch on there and I had a tiny Harbor Freight trailer. I still have the trailer. It's not here, but I may one day go get it and build that into a little tow rig for the Mustang. Um, you know, be able to put my tires on there be able to put like a toolbox on there and haul it to the, and from the track. And then the other option I thought of was once I get the hitch on there, I could build like a little rack on the back and put my tires on there. Maybe just two of them and then like two in the trunk. And then I'll be able to drive to the track that way. All right, so got the hitch put on. Uh, as you can see, it's not super noticeable. Like, honestly, it's not on the ground yet, but like you could kind of see it stick out right there. It's not too bad. I'll see how I feel about it after a little while. Um, I honestly don't go to the track that often. So worst case scenario, I can take it off. And then when I go to the track again, I'll put it back on, even though it is a pain in the butt to put on. Um, took me a couple hours now. So the hardest part of putting that hitch on was you have to actually like, there's fishing wire and you have to go through a hole through the bottom of like the frame or unibody or whatever it is, and then run it through the holes of where the bolts are supposed to come out. And then you put the hitch up there and you put the nuts on. It's kind of a dumb design, but I kind of understand why they had to do that. So I may or may not ever take it off. It doesn't look too bad at the moment. I'm not feeling horrible, but we'll see further down the road, see how I feel. And I might just take it off. I don't know. I don't go to the track that often with this car. Hopefully more often, we'll see. Or hopefully one day I'll just get me a nice truck and trailer and I won't have to worry about a hitch. No, I'll still have to figure out the whole tow hook thing. Maybe I will have to drill into it. We'll see. Now you may want to know what kind of tow hook am I putting on here? Um, I found it online made by the company Rigid. It's just a little tow hook. It's actually kind of cute. See? Spits into my little hitch there. So now you can see my tow hook on there. It's, isn't it adorable? Look at it. The hook might be a little bit small. I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's definitely small compared to the front one, but if I do need to change it to a bigger hook, I do have a piece that goes into the hitch, so I can just change the hook out. That's something easy to do. So that looks about all that I'm going to be able to get done today. Uh, I've been here for probably like six or seven hours, a little longer than I want to. You know, it takes a little bit more time to film than to actually do the work. Um, as you did see, I do have more stuff going on. Uh, next video, I'm going to be doing my brakes. This video, I just got my tow hooks on. Something important on the track in case my new tires don't hold up and I slide off that track and need to get towed out. If you guys liked my video, smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way the next time I post a video on my car, when I'm doing my brakes, you guys will know. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next video.